<laughs> I knew you couldn't get enough of our sexy content. Let's have a quickie. Hey friends, welcome back to the Salty Sex Cast. It's your host, Mariah. Um, I am joining you for a quickie episode today. And today we're really going to talk about something that um, some folks that have a natural skill and others we want to build upon. But remember, these quickie episodes are short, sweet, to the point, saturated goodness. And um, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, let's talk about sexual banter and how we're going to build our skills in this area of sexual banter. Um, really let's first talk about what it is. It is a way of flirting. Um, either it's suggestive or it's very playful language. Um, it can be a great way to build sexual tension or intimacy it can be a lot of fun when we build that skill of sexual banter. But for some people, it can actually be really intimidating or uncomfortable or awkward. So this episode, we're going to dedicate to five tips and tricks on how to build your uh, your sexual banter skills, but also a couple of examples too. So not just the tips on how to build that skill, but some things to get you started. So. Let's get started with tip number one, something as simple as starting with a compliment. So one of the easiest ways to start sexual banter is maybe giving your partner a compliment. This could be something like telling them they look good um, in that outfit or they just look good. You can actually use a compliment about their personality, which I think is the best type of compliment. Um you know, like their sense of humor or their intelligence, because that's talking about who they are as a person and not what they look like. So sometimes those are like the best compliments because some, we don't always feel like we look fantastic. And, um, so it's just a great way to start that, but remember, keep it playful, not too serious. So bring us to our tip number two, use your imagination when it comes to that sexual banter your imagination can really be your best friend. Um, you know, that's how we tap into our creativity. We can use maybe um, suggestive jokes or even playful innuendos. For example, if you're in a restaurant, um, you can make a comment about the size of the sausages on the menu. Or if you're maybe even watching a movie um, you can make a joke about a steamy love scene. Again, it's, it's really just kind of bringing things into, um, the moment that like you're noticing, did you notice that too? Kind of like bringing up that excitement, right? That's that teasing, that lighthearted thing, which brings us to tip number three, keep it light. Um, this isn't super heavy content and we're not making fun of like a person or something, um, super serious or even something that could be someone's, um, you know, where they're like nervous about something. Right. And so it's just like keeping it fun. So remember it really needs to be fun, playful, not very serious and not definitely not aggressive. So Avoid making comments that can be offensive or disrespectful. Again, if somebody comments on something that maybe that my partner knows that that's an insensitive thing for me or I'm insecure about, maybe let's keep that off the sexual banter menu for us. Um, keep it humorous, right? Especially if we know that our partner doesn't like watching sex scenes or they kind of uncomfortable and be like, well, would you like to pause it and make our own? You know, like how fun would that be? Like that's a fun sexual banter way, keeping things light and just making sure you know what type of level of sexual innuendo that you want to use for your partner. Make sure they're comfortable, read the room, body language, all of that fun stuff. Uh, tip number four means let's make it perfect through practice. So like any skill, more practice, you'll become better at it. 
So you can try it out on friends. Like it's really fun to tease friends, especially in a very safe environment. Um, Obviously, as well as consensual environment, uh, the more you do it, the more comfortable you'll become at like sexual banter. Um, I think it can be, especially when you're with friends, you guys can go back and forth and it can build up or um, get carried away, be too much. So just, I mean, being careful with that, right? So that actually brings us to the fifth tip is knowing your limits. So really remember that everyone has a different comfort level, especially when it comes to sexuality, talking about sexual content, et cetera. So make sure you respect your partner's boundaries um, as well as your own. So try not to push them too far out of their comfort zone especially if they're not responding positively to your sexual banter. Try to like maybe back off, um, try a different approach. And maybe it's not sexual banter that you're wanting to bring up at this point. I mean, maybe it's a different skill, but those are just a few things. Those are our five tips. So now that we've talked about those five tips, let's talk about some fun ways to actually practice our sexual banter. So here's three games that you can take away from this episode to really start building up on that skill of sexual banter. First one, dirty pictionary. Um, This can be fun. It can be a playful way to practice. Um, It's played like regular pictionary, but with a sexual twist. So maybe instead of drawing like a normal object or phrase, you draw sexual positions, body parts, or even like suggestive phrases. So it's a great fun way to just break the ice, get comfortable, again, keeping it light and playful and funny, but also in that safe and consensual way too. So only if your partner partner or partners is wanting to play this game, that's another fun way to kind of build up those skills together. Okay, this is probably my favorite one. So game number two to build up that sexual banter is truth or dare. We've all probably played it at one time or another in our life. Gosh, there's even like apps out there that you can play truth or dare with your partner and it gives you really fun, steamy things to do. So if that creativity side still isn't quite there and you need that permission to have an an idea to help you, go look at some free truth or dare apps. They're actually really fun and can really spice things up. But again, it's that classic game a lot of us are familiar with. Um... You can take turns asking each other to perform sexual dares or answer intimate questions. Um, You know, again, making sure that boundaries aren't crossed. So being very open to body language and what those um, consent cues look like or or uncomfortable cues look like, checking in. Um, Gosh, it could even be like, I dare you to tell me how comfortable you are right now to play this game. That's a fun way to keep the sexual banter up, but still respecting boundaries and comfort level. So I love those fun little ways to to make it um, still hot and sexy and not dry and, you know, black and white and good or bad kind of thing. So game number three is sexual role play, which we all know role pl- playing can be super fun It can be exciting and it can be a great way to practice those sexual banter skills. So how you do this is you'll be taking turns pretending to be different characters. You can come up with different scenarios. Just make sure you're using that playful language, those innuendos, um, really like focusing on building that sexual tension and, you know, while keeping it fun, keeping it light respecting boundaries. Did I say that enough times in this episode? <laughs> that is really the the equivalent of sexual banter. Fun, light, playful, innuendos, respectful, you know, consensual and boundary aware. Gosh, if you can keep all of those things in your head, you're going to have a ton of fun. Um but that is all the tips and tricks I have for today for our quickie because I want to keep this a quick and short episode. Please return next week. We'll have a long um, episode where we interview just an amazing guest. We have some great people coming up. Our schedule is full, y'all. So we have some amazing guests coming up. Um, I just want to thank everyone for tuning in. 
Uh, the podcast cannot go on without all of you. So every time you share it, every time you like it, every time you give us a rating on whatever app you're listening on, it really means a lot. So keep that up. Continue to do that. Uh, check in, say hi on social media. We love it. Um, if you don't know where to find us on social media, you can find all of those links at the Salty Sex Cast, not the, sorry, saltysexcast.com. Um, our email's there as well. So feel free to say hi. Love y'all. Stay sexy. Stay fun. I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for the quickie. See you next week. <laughs>